Also tonight, a community in a Philadelphia neighborhood is grieving. A three-year-old boy walking with his mom was hit by a car and lost his life. It's a case that's quickly turning into a call for action. I'm Jim Rosenfield. And I'm Jacqueline London. Police say the boy and his mother were walking along Gerard Avenue near 30th Street yesterday morning when a car jumped the curb, hitting them. Witnesses worked together to lift the car off the boy but were unable to save him. And investigators believe the driver had been drinking. NBC 10's Leah Uko is live in Brewery Town. She spoke with neighbors about what they saw. Leah. Now, Jackie, Jim, we spoke with a couple of neighbors. They tell me that about a dozen people witnessed this SUV come onto this sidewalk here. They were hoping to have a vigil here on the sidewalk where this accident ended. But instead, tonight, for now, they've made a small memorial. You see candles here on the sidewalk, a teddy bear, roses to remember this boy, but also uh, keep their prayers for the mother tonight, who we're told is recovering. There's no answer for it besides just carelessness. People were home, upstairs in apartments, when they felt the building shake. An SUV had just crashed. And then we hear a woman from the street shouting, my baby, some get my baby. Um, so you run down the stairs and notice that there's a child pinned underneath the vehicle. Dimir Bryant, also Deza Ruyan, and several more people, they all rushed to lift and turn this 2020 Nissan Rogue back upright. Everybody was just kind of panicking and... I started shaking and crying because I was unsure what happened. And Philadelphia police tell NBC 10 News a 62-year-old man named Timothy Robinson was driving the vehicle while intoxicated when he lost control and jumped the sidewalk. The SUV hit a mother who was walking her three-year-old. That toddler was pronounced dead at Temple University Hospital. This all happened around 11 o'clock in the morning. Now a three-year-old had to die to hopefully get a stop sign, get a speed bump, get something done to prevent this from happening again. District Attorney Larry Krasner writing in a statement, quote, intoxicated driving is never okay and this tragedy is why my office will work to hold Mr. Robinson accountable. A police tell us the 27-year-old mother is in stable condition at the hospital tonight. They arrested and charged Robinson with DUI involuntary manslaughter, among other related charges. Live from Brewery Town, Leah Uko, NBC10 News. So preventable, Leah. Thank you.